Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new to my channel. I am Shelly, and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay, and you can find me everywhere at Shelbo Posh. I will also have um, my stores and Instagram and stuff linked in the description below if you would like to check any of those out. Um, but today, I have decided to do something a little bit different. Um, normally, I thrift at the Goodwill Outlet, or sometimes I'll go to Savers, or just normal Goodwills. And today I'm going to check out a couple consignment stores. So this first one I'm at is called Raspberry Beret, I believe. So yeah, we're going to check that out and hopefully I can get some footage in there. I don't know, um, you know, how it will be. Hopefully I can film in there and stuff. But yeah, we're going to see what we can find. I definitely don't have issues with paying up for items as long as I can make a good profit with them. So we're going to see what we can find and I'm going to take you along with me. In this store, I looked at some of these shoes. They had a few pairs of Tory Birch. This pair didn't have a price on it, but I did see this other pair, and they were actually on sale, but they were still a little bit too high for that style and everything, so I did pass on those. And then I also saw this pair of uh, Isabel Morant, and these, again, were too high for resale, so I did pass on those. And then I just saw this cute pair of Sam Edelman, like, loafers. They were on sale, but, um, again, too high to pay. And then here I am in the dressing room. These are two items that I found and I was looking at, and I actually did pick both of them up, so you will see them a little bit later in the haul. But this pair of pants was actually on sale, which was nice. They did have a few items that were on sale throughout the store. And this dressing room is super cute, so it's definitely a nice little, like, boutique-y kind of vibe at this store. But, yeah, those are the only two items I grabbed. Okay, I finished up at that store, um, and I did grab both of the items that I showed you that I looked at in the dressing room. Um, yeah, I had been to this place once before, and the prices were not as high as they were this time. Um, I wanted to get some more footage, but it was, like... I was the only one in there, so I felt kind of awkward. Um, but they had um, a lot of anthropology that was new with tags. But I mean, a lot of the dresses were like at least 50. Um, and then they also had some like items behind the counter that was like, there's like a pair of Gucci slides or something um, and some few other items. But yeah, I grabbed these two items. I think they'll do pretty good. And the prices weren't horrible on them. I ended up paying 50 in total. So I'll probably do about 25 um, per item in my like spreadsheet and stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go check out another consignment store and I will take you there as well. I'm at the next um, consignment store. This one is called Reflections something, ref maybe just Reflections Consignment. Um, and it is in Concord, Mass. And so yeah, I'm gonna go in there. Hopefully I can find some stuff. Um, but if not, I will try to get some footage for you so we can kind of see the pricing and kind of the brands and stuff that they have. Similar to the last store that had like a rack outside, this store did as well. And I did find one item on this rack, but I did look through it brief briefly, but I did not really see anything that caught my eye too much. So I didn't grab anything um, besides that one item on here. Um, but I did see a few items and kind of looked at prices and everything. And you will see the item that I ended up grabbing. So I did find this alp and rock brand which is a bolo brand and i have sold it once before so i did grab that but i also saw this bowden skirt but just too much for what it was and then this stella mccartney adidas piece i was just trying to show some of the prices that were in here 
This rag and bone dress was very expensive at $145. And this was the dress rack. So I'm just going to show you a few of the dresses that were here. I am filming on my phone, so I didn't do as well as getting like the brands and everything, but I did want to show you some of the styles and things like that. I I feel like across the three stores that I went to, some of the styles were a bit older. So I kind of noticed that throughout the stores that they didn't have super like trendy items. This Kate Spade dress was cute, but just too much to pay for a resale again. And this store also had this 50% off rack, but the prices were pretty high still, even with that 50% off. Um, but they did have some more brands on this rack that I would be more interested in. But just again, with prices, I did not end up picking up anything on this rack. They did have this Escada like jean jacket. This might have been here a while because it was only marked at 30 and then they did have a few skull cashmere pieces but a little bit too high for me to pick up. I did see two pairs of Rothy's and they were in larger sizes which was nice but too much for resale especially with the styles that they were so I did pass on both of those. Alright I'm done at the Reflections consignment store. Um, I grabbed two things so I will show you those in the haul so now I'm at one last consignment store um this one is called options consignment store so yeah we're gonna go in there and see what we can find hopefully i can find a few more things um so far i've only grabbed two items at each store so yeah we're gonna see what we can find in here Here I am going into the last store. This one again had a clearance rack that was outside. I did see this Lulu's dress, but I did not pick it up. It wasn't a very good style. And the only item I thought about getting in this store was this Wild Fox um, white label. And it was an okay price, but I passed. We are back. So I'm going to show you a few things that I grabbed. So um, these were consignment stores, so a little bit different um, than like buy, sell, trade stores. So like um, Buffalo Exchange, um, Style Encore, Plato's Closet. Those are buy sell trade stores where you take your items and they will actually pay you up front for the items that you send or you bring them. Um, but consignment stores are a little bit different. You take your items there and then when they sell, you actually get paid. I have not done any consignment stores actually. I've only ever sold stuff to buy sell trade stores. Um, but so yeah, I went into a couple of those to kind of see the pricing and just things like that and prices are definitely a bit higher because you know they are picking their items and stuff so they usually are a little bit better items and everything but the ones I went to definitely were a little bit higher price I did not grab anything at the last store um, I didn't find anything that I was interested in but I'm going to show you what I grabbed okay so from the first store I grabbed this pair of um, Nilly low tan i'm not 100 percent sure how to say that but that is that brand and these are a little bit older i want to say they have a zipper on the ankle and they have kind of a cool reinforced like knee look which i know a lot of brands have done that so this was 30 dollars and then 20 percent off and i'm hoping i can list these at least about 100 and we will see but this brand is very expensive and it kind of has like a following. It's kind of more of a minimalist-ish brand. So we'll see how that does. And then I also grabbed that Frank and Eileen button down. And this is the Eileen style. And this was $26. And just a really nice lightweight button down. And it is blue and white. So I grabbed that and this is a size medium. Those pants are a size six. So those are the two things that I grabbed at that store. And then the next store, you saw me um, see this item outside and I did end up grabbing it. It was 50% off of 30 something, 36 maybe. So I think I paid about 18, but this brand is called Alp and Rock. And I have found it once before at the Goodwill outlet and it sold very quickly. So hoping for about 
I probably listed around 100. That was just kind of what comps were saying. So yeah, I'm excited to find that brand again. They also had a pair of pants in that brand that she showed me, but they were 75. So I went ahead and passed on those. They weren't on sale at all. So I did pass on those. And then I also grabbed this pair of men's Lululemon pants. And these are a size large. And here is the logo. They just have like front and back pockets. So yeah, here are those. And then, yeah, like I said, I didn't grab anything from the final store, but I think you can definitely find some good items at consignment stores. You just have to maybe be a little bit more picky or um, be willing to pay up for items and things like that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this different kind of video and please subscribe if you are not already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!